On June 16, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, I am Mia, and you are listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Can you say have faith, let it begin? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Friday, October 16th, 2020. Have faith, let it begin. It's very, very early, just to let you know. I'm walking the dog this morning. Around 5.30, 5.45 this morning. And um, I wanted to pre-record this morning's episode because quite honestly, I know I'm, I haven't slept. And I know that when I go back to bed, I may be late. And I didn't want to do that. So, it's a special edition because a lot of things are going on. Um, I want to thank everyone for your thoughts and prayers. For my wife as we laid to rest uh, yesterday. Uh, Les Matless, and uh, we just want to thank you for all your support. My, uh, for those of you that don't know, if you haven't listened, um, we lost my father-in-law, my wife's uh, father, and uh, it's been some trying times. Last night, as I was preparing to get unwind and try to move on from last two days of a wake and a funeral, I get a call from my best friend, Brian. And his mother is now in the hospital and not doing very well. We ask you for prayer for Barbara. So I thought it would only be fitting that today's episode is a prayer for all of you, for everyone, especially those that are in need. So let's do that today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, there are so many trying days, so many crazy, crazy days that have been happening this past month, this past year. I shouldn't say this, but it's just been so much stuff going on. And it is affecting all of us, all over the world. From the pandemic, to losing a loved one, to having family members in the hospital, to those that are battling other illnesses other than COVID-19 that we are forgetting about that we should never forget about. We pray for all of you that are suffering, that are alone, that are sad, that are mourning. And you know, it can't always be a bad thing um, to just think about the negative. Sometimes we have to think about the positive. And there are many of you that are doing very well. And there are many of you that are Families are together and nothing has happened to you. And you know what? That's great. Because we have to praise God on the good days and on the bad. But right now, many of us are seeking prayer. Many of us need you, God. We lift up in prayer my in-laws, my wife, my brother-in-law Randy, my mother-in-law Denise. Comfort them. Give them hope. Let them heal as they celebrate and honor the life of their father, their husband. Lord, I ask you to watch over my family. We pray for my brother. We ask for courage, for guidance. 
We pray for those that are dealing with illness. We pray for Samantha. We pray for those that are in hospitals like Tommy and recuperating. We ask you to lift up in prayer Barbara. We pray for Brian and for John and Liz. We pray for Mansa and Yesenia, for Sigfredo. We lift up in prayer our half-faith, let it begin, family. We ask you to be with them. We pray for our hospitals, our nurses and doctors, and all those that are in the path of storms, whether they be real storms, physical storms, emotional storms. We pray for families and friends and loved ones to stay safe. We pray for co-workers. We pray for friendships. We pray for ministers, for pastors, for churches. We pray for EMTs and doctors and nurses and hospitals. We pray for police and firemen, first responders, essential workers. We pray for animals, our friends, dogs, cats, pets. We pray for children all over the world, for mothers and fathers, for newborns that are coming into the world. They have no idea what's coming. They have no idea what's in front of their lives. Some of these children, my daughter included, will not even probably know what it is to shake hands. They're work, living in, coming into a world where the new norm is nothing compared to what we know as the real norm. And we just ask you to pray for everyone and to lift us up in your precious hands. And we ask this of you in your precious name. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May all of you have a great weekend. May all of you know that I am with you. God is with you. God loves you, and he will never leave your side. And never forget. Have faith. Let it begin. Thank you.